Hi, Van. Once my clients get a home under agreement, I typically introduce them to you on email as a recommended attorney. What happens next? Sure. In Massachusetts, it's a two-step process. Your offer gets accepted, mm -hmm. then you move to PNS. Mm -hmm. That's when the lawyers take over and they work on the contract. We fight for you, make sure that your interests are represented and uh, yeah, are, uh, is in the uh, contract. Um, then, really, the, your loan officer, if you're financing, they uh, work with you on the loan side. Okay. We, as lawyers, begin the uh, title search process, examine the title for the last 15 years to ensure that there's no defects and your title is good and marketable at closing. And at the actual closing, we work with your lender, or if you finance, not financing, we work with you to make sure that the numbers are correct and settled properly. Okay, great. How, how many days in advance does a buyer or seller typically get their closing documents? Well, the buyer is, uh, if you're financing again, you're given a loan estimate very early. And then three, day, three days before closing, you are to get the uh, closing disclosure, we call it now. Okay. Final numbers? Final numbers. That has every dollar in, dollar out, so you know what you have to bring. For the seller side, usually between three and five days, because the bank attorney or the buyer's attorney in my case uh, would need to collect all the information like mortgage payoffs and broker invoices, taxes, water, and stuff like that. And then uh, we put it all together and then give you your net sell proceeds. Great, yeah, because that's because everything's prorated. Wonderful. Well, there you have it the process of using an attorney through the buying or selling process.